Weren't expecting that, now were you? Everybody sing that shit. In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Recap time. Film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm how so sick is. of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and Rachel's I... bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her Hopefully bracelet? we get more information about Rachel in this Please episode. Because I'm... You're kidding. Put that down. I'm kind of getting sick of dancing around her. I want her to be the main focus at this point. Because she seems like a major component. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. And this... Mmm... Of course it was the right thing to do to save her, but I really here, hope it Max? didn't screw Max now, over too bad. Today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please tell us everything. I read it up Prescott. What the hell is this? Max, there was yeah, and then we ended with an eclipse. Today. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything <sighs> this week. Let's find out what's going on. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Where's it gonna throw us into first? Past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Welcome back to Ian's Indies. Life is Strange, episode three. I think part nine this will be actually for the series, channel series. Square Enix. I enjoy this art style, um, the way this game works, because it seems to fit. To me, it's almost like this art style is like Wolf Among Us, but just cleaned up. That's the way I kind of look at it. Like, it reminds me of that, but just slightly different. Like, slightly cleaned up, not quite as cartoony, trying to make it a little more realistic. Do we have a rabbit now? Oh, we're looking after Kate's rabbit. nightmares about that. Oh, shit. I have something to show you. Meet me in front of campus. Get that ass in gear now. I knew Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. Okay, well, before we leave, I assume we have chores to do in this room. Which, of course, A is the... Oh, I can only look at the plant. Oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. I saved Kate, but I drowned my own plant. I overwatered the fucking thing? Oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. Are you kidding? I overwatered I the fucking... Kate, but I drowned mm. my own plant. Well, I guess the plant's dead. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. That's actually not great for rabbits, from what I've been told. Like, those are like... I guess it's a treat, but... It can be actually kind of bad for them. I don't know, I say let's leave it on for the rabbit. Um... Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Not as much, though, because apparently so it hurts us. freaking tired. <laughs> I sound like a moron, but crime doesn't... It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically pushed up to that roof, 
and I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. How happy she looks? Everybody in this photo looks like they've just been told their dog died. Uh, and I guess we'll use the laptop. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Yeah, now just, she has okay. another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Yeah. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name. Yet. Unidentified student talking Marsh down to safety. Hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. So I guess since... I shouldn't sound so disappointed. I guess since I helped her and kept her from actually falling off the roof, she, um... Like, the video of that probably would have been all over the internet rather than me helping her. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Get well soon. Thinking of you... There's Alyssa. Oh yeah, Evan. Taylor. Taylor, really? We're all behind you. Father Lamont. No, no, no. Victoria. Victoria? I guess you gotta keep up appearances. Courtney. Mark. I don't recognize that name. Zach. Next game Either for I you. delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Watching you walk down with Kate from that roof was the greatest thing. You're a hero, Max. You actually made me proud to be at Blackwell. I'm gonna look that up, just, um... Translate it. I could not think of the word. I think Chica means girl, but I don't really know for sure. Like, una, chi, una chica dura. I don't fully know. And I don't want to make guesses. Uh, way to make the headlines, Max. Everybody okay. will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Guess we take off. Oh, Let wait. me see which classes I won't be attending this week. Okay, so I guess that's it. I'm kind of pissed I drowned the plant. It's like, well, how am I supposed to know? Like, okay, they only give us a chance to water dark. it every once in a while. Let there be... Oh, okay, sweet. I was going to say, where did you get a flashlight from? Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night. What a mortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry. Blake for Kate Marsh. I hope you burn bright again soon, Kate. Blake. I spent a couple days away from this and I've completely forgotten. We'll wait for Kate. Her name. Or like half the names. Brooke. Okay, Brooke, I remember. Wherever you go, there I am. That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Yeah, has nothing to do with her. Barri barricade tape, wow. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. Well, she's alive, but evidence of why she did it. Like, what happened? So much hypocrite. Yeah, that is true. You can't really watch the video and bugger about it and still have the audacity to be like, oh, we're all still here for you. It's like, well, you can kind of go fuck yourself. You can kind of go fuck yourself -y. Are you Oh, you're brushing your teeth at your... I don't know what she was doing, honestly. Hey, Max. It looked like she was I snorting crack or something. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she Nobody could have jump. seen me go up on the roof. That's impossible. I did um, I did name one episode Enemy of My Enemy. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just like shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Mm. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. Shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. I won't say a word. I swear to dog. <sighs> I believe you, Max. No, I Besides Victoria, you're the only one who asked me about my mom in the hospital. That meant a lot to me. I'm my own person, too. Let me know if you need anything. Being nice isn't hard. Thanks. You're like when weird, you have a library but card. pretty cool, Max. Especially after watching you go up on that roof. 
Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you I later. I wonder. Oh. Okay, let's back it up for her anxiety attack. Um, can I turn her lackeys, or for lack of a better term, ha, huh, uh, against her? Like, make them be Next. my friends? I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Oh. Probably to hell. Hmm. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And it was, like, pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Okay, so I got more information out of her without her. Because I assume if I probably went uh, the other way. Isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Actually, yeah, that is a thing. Because the thing is, we don't know where she is. I mean, might as well. So those boots are made for walking runways. I've seen half. Socks cost more than my wardrobe. I've seen most of her stuff, so I can so I can pick and choose what I want to go through. I'll title this one "Portrait de la Assholes." Oh, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Yeah, that's that's not even stone. That's just out of her mind. Like something. She's on Here something. They are getting loaded with Satan. Well, well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. My controller vibrated. Why did it vibrate? Oh, that scared me. Okay, I just got messages from different people, I assume. I need to rest my cape tonight. Uh, just remind you of fucking lost awesome university today. So we're here in a live 3D printer, dinner on me along with our planet names. Thanks for I need to rest my cape tonight. Being suspended is a nice reward. Oh, that's right, we're suspended. I forgot about that. She hasn't said anything else. Yeah, Great. okay. He's actually serious. Now I see that... Okay, so oh, I'm assuming she's talking about the private number. Victoria and Taylor actually Think show Think uh, I need a drink. Let me know what the time. For everything I said about the stupid Kate video. This girl needs a serious curfew cocktail. Oh, are they going out to drink? Oh. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. I'm the hoping that... The point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Ah, okay. Well, that looks like everything. Poster. Magazines. Yeah, I think that's everything. So we'll just take off. The controller vibrate. I'm assuming I got a text message. It just didn't give me all of the stuff. Like it didn't like give me a notification for the actual um, text message that came through, whatever it was. So I'm going to assume that that's what hey, it was. Can you come in here for a minute? Dana's really hurting over this. I wonder why. Yeah, let's go check on Dana. Hang on, first we're gonna check out this paper this ball. This is both sad okay, that's, and pathetic. If she just won't get rid of that piece of paper. Okay, let's talk to Dana. Hey Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. And she did it. We're just the only ones that actually know about it. Kate was serious. But it's not all about that video. So what exactly are you saying, Max? Does this have something to do with why you got suspended yesterday? Tell me the truth. I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell. And it all I'm seems connected in some why. way. Like they're I'm gonna have some. Now. 
But people here are still sneaking out tonight. Yeah. What? Like who? Victoria we know for one. Victoria bounced out of here earlier and now you, Sharla? Hm. Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. Well, we're meeting See Chloe out front, but I don't know where we're going after that. I assume that's it from, yeah, her room. Stuff? That is so damn cute how much Dana oh. is into this Halloween party. Okay. Waiting for you, Kate. What the fuck does that say? In... Don't tell... No money, no money, don't tell... Homie or something? I don't know. Praying for a fast recovery, Kate. He's got some interesting handwriting in this school. Kate, just want you to know we're in... You're in our thoughts. Stella. Okay, I guess let's leave the girls' dormitories. Whew. Yeah, there's a very dark tone on this episode and like this whole section of the game. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Okay, well, there's a bench here first. I feel so giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. Yeah. But I feel kind of invincible now. I wouldn't. That's the thing. I'd be nervous. Like, yeah, you made it up there and stopped her, but... A, it was a lot of the luck on my choices, and B, you were in pain. Like, that was hard as shit to do. So, we don't know if, like, this is like a... Like, is this power like a muscle, and you can strengthen it by using it over and over? Or do you have a limit, and that's just it? Wells, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not. Max? It's like, yeah, I know. Wait, why is there another... Mom? Max, please just call as soon as you can. We are proud of you for saving this poor girl, and we want to hear your side about the Blackwell suspension. Call us soon. Call you back in a few minutes. Don't be mad. I can explain. Maxine, I'm so glad you were honest with me. I can always tell by your voice. We always believe in you. Remember, if you want to spend some time back home, the door is open and your bed is made. We love you. Thanks, Mom. I'm so lucky to have you as parents. Even though I'm suspended, I still have tons of homework, so I'll let you know later about a visit. Heh. <laughs> Maxoxo. Nice. Can I hide behind the tree? I don't know where he's going. This is me hiding. You think he'll notice me? Blackwell almost lost another student. I wish Kate Marsh would just get to town. Now I have to deal with more pissed off entitled parents who want to blame me for their mistakes. Cheers. What? Okay, well, I can rewind time if I need to. Can I just talk to him? That smart son of a bitch has me trapped! Well, what am I supposed to do here? Can I just talk to him? Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. Yeah, Plus you're also you're drunk as suspension. shit. I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense. I'd rather talk to the man, because there's no other way to go around, so... I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you. You saved her ass. <sighs> Maybe saved Blackwell. He's being very honest right now. Caught. Going back inside. You earned good dreams. Okay, so he's fine. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Great, he saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. Okay, well, let's go back and try that. Come on. Holy crap. There we go.
Max the ninja strikes again. Okay, that worked. I didn't know if that was actually going to work like that. That seemed way too easy. Like they literally just spoon-fed us the answer and said, here you go. But honestly, I was curious to what he had to say. Because after something like that and explaining yourself, there's no way he he could be that strict on you, especially when he's drunk. Holding a, well, I would assume is a rum bottle. Booyah! Son of a bitch! Get it? Booyah. I hate you. Scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk. Mm. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? I'm smiling, Sorry, but I fucking hated that. You absolutely balls to the walls did save your This friend. game has jump scared me twice, and you that was the worst yourself. one so far. I couldn't even you like flip my headphones off my head. My head felt like it was being crushed. Then I had no clue what to say to her on the roof. <sighs> don't be so modest. Now I know how Max feels. My God, my heart's pounding. He's alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is going to save us all. It's Maybe a tornado. We need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anyone. Well, that's else. the drug thing. Oh, yeah, that's, we gotta figure out where that, that came from. Tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Yeah, that you can't really do much about. Uh, name of the or it's name of this whole episode. So. Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh right, except for your ability to. Oh yeah, manipulate time and space. No biggie. Chloe. You can only I manipulate space as much as a regular person can. Time. That's a whole other story. I I even got my own dumbass suspended. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Um... I did say I wanted to learn a little more about Rachel, so let's go that way. We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. You need the truth if you want to find me her. To think where she could be. Do you think she's um alive? Alive? I have to think that. Go positive. Her spirit is so powerful. You could have said here. dead, but maybe too why, much. Why say why go pessimistic? Max, Who does that help? We have to find Rachel soon. We have to. <laughs> I like I how kicking it was an option. You know, she's just like kicking it. Said, it's time to start the search for. She's on the south side of the tracks where nobody goes tell anymore. Me what's your secret? Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. Oh. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just so now we can go on doors we couldn't normally go in. Trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? You're suspended anyway, Max. Lead the way. I'm so True. glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. In we'll just be here. more so suspended. And then Chloe... Well, she could be arrested technically because she's trespassing. So much for helping me ooh, ooh, ooh. Hopefully, the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry, I was. Oh, Victoria, you know, what you gonna do? It's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. She went to Mr. Jefferson. Thank I thought you, she was Victoria. going to Taylor. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Um. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. She's not. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? That's what because she's focused on? The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You, you know absolute that. whore. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. Oh. You already love my work. So um. It's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. No. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That's what are you doing? Fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, for I might what reason? You offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. Yeah, exactly. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait, I only. You fucked yourself, you dumbass. Are you fucking kidding me? What are you trying to do? It's 
so stupid. I'm sorry, but Jefferson. Do I think Victoria can't get? Like, he's better than that. That's ridiculous. About to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Like, I had doubts about him in the beginning, but he's not that bad. Oh, boy. Chloe the Keymaster. You nice. Know what? Oh, okay, we're walking across. I was wondering if I were zoomed in on the wall. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. <laughs> yeah, I'm exactly. Max I'm is in a bunch of trouble. Anymore. Chloe's not in trouble for anything. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. You stole the key, Seriously. dumbass. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. You're not related. Starship will not want me in the hands of the local police. Also true. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad Yeah, attacks. but only so Don't much, and then it starts to hurt. Kate. Maybe I did on my own. It just gave her the opportunity to save Come on. her. One more door and our work here is done. I guess... I can look around, though. Why is he giving me the option to look around? There's nothing I'm missing, right? Like, I'm assuming she'll cut me off here? No? If there's nothing, I'll just cut back, but... I'm assuming we end up coming down here. Okay, yeah, I looked around and there was nothing, so I guess we just fall over in here. Security officer should have the key to the principal's office. Not necessarily. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Yeah, if you give me the lock, it can actually damage it, and then it's not hard to figure out, like, hey. Oh, we got keys. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. Of course. That would be too that would be too easy. I'll give him that. Um well I feel like the desk is gonna turn up nothing, so let's just search the drawers. Nothing to see here. Okay. We got a box. No, I can't look at the box. I can look at it, but I can't search the box I mean. Desolation. Wonderful. It's probably gonna turn up nothing, but let's search the desk. No keys here. Figured as much. Because you don't want to look in the drawers, you just want to look at the top of the desk. Um, can't go in there. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. It's like a hat with a drawstring on top. Boring. Files. More files? Crap. More files. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank, but I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My okay. plan has a name. Um. Warren? Hey, Warren. You busy? <laughs> I took a stab in the dark. Just bubble hearth. You'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No. I'm just asking for fun. Yeah, of Thanks, course. Thanks, guy. Uh, no, no, no. Stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the help. Oh, she heard that. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. She Tried heard that. Up everybody at Blackwell. I wonder Sorry, if that's going to... Mm, I got nothing. Something going to happen. About your plan. Sugar, a soda can, I'm duct tape, sodium chlorate. Can you stay here and not get caught? Are we going to blow the lock the open? I that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Yeah, race is on. Bitch, I can rewind time. Here's how you do it. Sodium chlor- what the fuck? It's just a powder used to create chlorine dioxide. Everybody knows that. 
Is there a digging try this? Keyword is try. I bow to your wisdom. Sugar in the can. And then sodium chloride on the tape. Wrap the tape around. Yeah, and then it explodes. And then... Okay, that's kind of what I figured, because then the pressure builds. But won't that blow a hole in the door? Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. What do you know? Trash. I mean, you never know. Nerd alert. This poster has Warren written all over it. Dude, the chess team? I wish my class had a chess team. Okay, there's that. Trophies. I knew there had to be a reason they gave us access to most of the school. Um, okay. Well, I checked Just this. emptied. Okay. Nothing here. Makes sense, makes sense. Uh... Release the crack can. Yeah, it gives me the soda can. It's all mine anyway. Okay, so that's one. Only three more items to go. Wonderful. Can I check this trash can now? Nope, it won't let me check this trash can now. Okay, perfect. Um, is it this one I can go in? No. Is it this one I can go in? Sweet. Gross. I hate that formal and smell. An A minus? All right, all right. So Dr. Max did help Warren this morning. Okay, he had one mistake. Not bad. Not bad. I can change his grade. You deserve way more than this for taking on Nathan, but every little grade counts. I'm. Yes, I like this plus better than that minus. I gave Thanks the kid. for being there for me, Warren. I mean, I'll help him out. It's kind of hard to. Ooh, sugar. Unless they're. You're halfway home, Max. I just had a brainwave. I just looking up at the sky there. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder if, since I did the petition with Miss Grant, if that was enough to keep him from putting cameras up, and if I wouldn't have done that, the cameras would have been like, hey. Look who was in the school at so-and-so. -so. so I wonder if I help myself by doing that. Or if I'm still going to get screwed anyways and the cameras are still going to fuck us. Because I know uh, Meathead was all about security, security, security. Still there? Did you blow up? Max? Still here? Didn't blow up. Not yet. Need to concentrate. Talk to you later. Oh boy. <laughs> science book what have you got for me so sodium chloride is a weed killer you'd think Warren would have told me that factoid properties of sodium chloride is an organic inorganic compound that is commonly used as a weed killer toxicity in humans formulations um, cigarette I have expected him to turn and look at the camera. Ew, gross. At least switch to e cigs. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. I don't know. So if it's a weed killer, does that mean I have to look somewhere else for it? And it's basically I'm gonna find it in like the janitor's closet or something? I think that's probably everything I can get out of this room. Probably like one thing per room There's or something like that. There's got to be something I can use here. Okay, another room. This another. is like a scene in a horror film. Contest pictures. Can I fuck with the... Oh, no. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some style. Oh no. Oh, okay, I can look. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, <laughs> said Max, the art critic. Victoria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? That's a hell of a shot to get. <clears throat> if I could stop freaking out. 
or stop uh, losing my voice. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Okay, I can just look at them apparently. Duct tape. The tape Damn. is mine. What else did I need? No, oh, wait. Only one more ingredient left. Sodium chlorate. Okay. So a weed killer. Would it be in the science room? Yeah, I can't go out that way. Okay, well, I'll take one more walk to the science room and see if I can find it through there. On my way back the other way. I'll look at everything. Oh, weed killer. There we go. Good thing I came back here. Here's the sodium chlorate box. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. <laughs> I don't know if that's a stab at me or if that's just the game being the game. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Why make these shitty jokes? Only you can hear them and it makes me sad. So glad you still have your locker, Kate. So wait, how many photos have I missed then? If this is... Bird, ant... The fuck is that thing? Well, it's a plaid shirt. It looks like Chloe's arm, I guess, but... And I assume the thing on the right is maybe having dinner at Chloe's house or something? Yeah, and this I got a photo of him. Oh, Joyce and Frank were the other two. I just realized I filled in two more. Okay, well, there's all the stuff on him and all the stuff on Joyce, Chloe's mom. Not too worried about reading it. And then this is... Wow, there are a lot of pages. Yeah, I'd, reading through all those would uh, kind of kill the time for these episodes. Okay, so now we got to go back to... Oh, that's the bathroom. Principal? Principal's office. There we go. Yeah, and she's still... Still going. Take it Pipe easy bottom. on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Take it easy Ooh, on the door. Let's blow it open. Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! Oh, I don't actually even have to do it. She's just gonna do it for me. This is so cool! Isn't this just gonna Get ready to make a hell of a noise? Wouldn't somebody hear this? That Are you so kidding me? Fucking cool. Oh, we are toast. Exactly. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? I don't know. Oh, okay. I do have to stay in here. I don't know. Do something, Max. I love how the game's just like, hey, figure this shit out. Okay. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Okay, okay. So now we know what's going to happen. Can I prevent... Can I prevent the alarm going off? I'm trying to like think ahead here, but... Can I doctor about the pipe bomb first? Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Oh, wait, can I now rewind while I'm in here? It's gonna mess with Chloe, but...
Yeah, now I can unlock the door. Welcome to my domain. <laughs> you are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it. Sister. Oh, okay. I'm the glad I figured I that out. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, That's pretty I can good. see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. Hang on a second. Sorry about that, somebody came to check to see if I was talking to myself. I had to explain that I wasn't, that I was talking to a friend. Which I think I am, if you guys consider yourself my friend. Back to exploring. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I mean, that's all it takes. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. I would have relocked the door, honestly. Just in case. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Can I take a photo of her while she's sitting there? No. So, did you blow the lock when a bomber? Oh, please, I just wanted to see if you knew your explosives. And to see your incredible artwork. <laughs> nice. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. As principal of Blackwell Academy, it is my glad, happy, fortunate duty. <laughs> it is my duty to inform, or it is my blank to inform you that your petition to block the installation of a new surveillance system has received enough signatures for the school to reject the plan. It is not my policy to take souls take sides in these matters as we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in their school's operation. However, I did recognize the controversial nature of these cameras and shared your concern for possible weapons and weapons for possible invasions of privacy. Thank you for your passion and for inspiring Blackwell students to make their voices heard. I hope they will feel empowered by the outcome of your petition. Best Principal Wells. I assume that actually did have a difference, so if we wouldn't have signed, it probably would have been like one short or something like that. And then we would have had to deal with the whole camera situation and us breaking in. So I'm glad I sided, I sided with her, because to me that made the most sense. Look at this pile. Look at this pile. I mean, I wanted to, but you wouldn't. Tumbleweeds. Oh, okay. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Continues his family's historical, historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with a crate work with Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also a popular student, popular students and faculty. Stands as a proud representation of Blackwell, 3.7 GPA. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. 2.8 GPA. As she prefers to be, Max, as she prefers to be called is, wait, oh, she's Maxine. Oh, okay. I honestly assumed her name was Max. She prefers to be called is considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates as she has acknowledged, and she has acknowledged she should be doing better. Her teachers back her, back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so, but this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Student transfer information. Update. Despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max showed herself to represent the very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof today. At this time, there is an ongoing police faculty investigation, but Max's heroism is undisputed. This file is going to be so spotless, a projectile vomit. A 3.9 GPA? Victoria Chase is the gold standard for Blackwell Academy, a student with consistently high GPA and extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also receives high marks from the faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations devoted to Blackwell spirit and history. Go fuck yourself. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Holy balls, this, this kid has a 4.0. He needs to ride that dick. If he's this smart, this kid's going places. Oh, we kept him at a 4.0 GPA. I just realized with that A+. 
An A- minus could have dropped that to a 3.9. Warren is considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has the gift of gift or curse of gab, depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by his science teacher, Miss Grant. We hope Warren focuses academic vision and continues towards bright futures. Only two more files to go. Dude has a 4.0 GPA. This should be hanging in a Ooh. fresh store. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. She all, wow, she also had a 4.0. Not care about the police investigation. Unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. Her parents are at the present unaware of her whereabouts and Blackwell hopes for a quick return to continue with her academic excellence. Rachel Amber is a quintessential student and representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of a scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams with Blackwell as the fulcrum. Principal Wells, this is Lieutenant Chris Rossi. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We will always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do from now. Thanks for all your help, Lieutenant Chris Rossi, Arcadia Bay PD. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad, Chloe. 1.7 GPA. Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often witfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police reports. In Let's Edinburgh. nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Whiskey bottle. I oh, it is whiskey. Too if okay. I was the principal of Blackwell. And nothing here. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. Dude, I know I shouldn't be going through the principal's files, but it's kind of cool. Now's your chance to get revenge on Blackwell. Oh yeah, I'm so bummed I don't get to party with the Vortex Club. <laughs> There's still time. Especially with you around, right? Don't talk. Search. Oh, I like it when you get bossy. You're finally learning <laughs> oh, from boy. a master. Okay, there's a photo opportunity here, apparently. That I apparently missed? Um, no. The fuck? There was a photo off there. There we go. Chloe. Say hello to my little friend. Say goodnight to the bad guy. Chloe can be kind of cute when she wants to be. Looks everywhere. You're not so tacky up close. I don't mind it. Yeah, I know there has to be some info in the student files, but... Look at this pile. It skips over that one. Tumbleweeds. Skips over that one. Like, I'm not gonna read my- This file is going to be- I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Yeah, like, we've already read through those. Got out of there. Search through here. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. It's just Chloe. Chloe's. Bad, Chloe. Oh. Kate. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. At the present time, there is a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See the attached files for complete details. She's a 3.9 GPA. Kate Marsh represents the very best of students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding, along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her extracurricular activities with the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged on K-Bay... 7 News, and her diverse religious studies groups has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She also has one of the best attendance records in the school's history. Principal Wells. 
As a school nurse, I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly and she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she's not under duress from other classmates, as, as is my suspicion. Regards, Anne-Marie Berenci. Oh, there's that last I file. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Okay, let's talk to Chloe. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses drawing? Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was Seriously? Wasn't so. At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Rachel in the dark room. Psychotic. Well, we did but see those binders with, with different girls' missing. names on it, and one did have Kate Marsh. Whoa. Listen to this. And... David M. always yeah. asks what's going on David, in my head. It was, from what David we could tell, it was David that was doing these binders. David follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. Seems like it. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. I've been we paranoid this whole time. I'm mail. waiting for someone to open that door and mean to shit my maybe pants on the we spot. We shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, no, do we can't take the chair. Mind reading. Well, I mean, or you're sitting you in the chair. Rewind because I tried to steal the chair. <laughs> shit, I'm confused. No, it's, it's easy enough to figure you out. I know how you roll. We how you wish you could roll. Out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Ching. Wow. What is it? That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's five thousand dollars here. I could pay Frank back tonight. Oh no. So chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Yeah, but it's gonna leave clues. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly my plan. Cause the thing is, yeah, we could take the money, but then it's a matter of where the fuck did that money go? Like, he knows it was there, and if it's five grand, five grand doesn't just disappear like that. The thing is, there are no cameras, so finding us is going to be a hell of a thing. So for this, I want to, we'll say, leave the money, and then see how pissed she gets. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? On top of that, yeah. What I know are you, you taking it from? Frank back, but <sighs> I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. I but mean... Yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office. Okay, yeah, no, I'm leaving it at that. Because she's pretty okay with the moral choices as long as it makes sense. Because I can't that do that. Would have helped Chloe and me. Can I check the computer? Or I can look at it. Disciplinary warning, blah, 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 blah. Disciplinary warning report. Update. Expunged record. Dear Mr. And Mr. Press, Mr. And Mrs. Prescott, we regret to inform you that Nathan has disrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings and leniency due to a crude outburst in Ms. Hoyt, Mrs. Hoyda's intro to literature class on Tuesday, September 17th. Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the day without a proper write-up for his files. Nathan has an enormous potential but also erratic behavior patterns that may need supervision beyond Blackwell's ability. The school cannot tolerate these disruptions, so we hope you will discuss the matter with Nathan. Nathan to impress upon him the severity of the situation. Please see the attached file for full reports. Dear Principal Wells, We received a rather outrageous and possibly slanderous letter from somebody in the administration accusing Nathan of uncharacteristic erratic behavior patterns. We're certain this must be a mistake, otherwise we fear we will, be, we will take Nathan out of Blackwell to a more prestigious and better funded institution. Please respond with a copy of the expunged disciplinary warning report. So yeah, he's literally getting off on this stuff because they need the money for the school. Following is a list of reported incidents involving Nathan Prescott. There seems to be a pattern of outbursts and confrontations followed by remorse and repentance. We re suggest his parents remove him from the school and place him under expert psychological supervision. 
throwing a desk in class, cursing at his English teacher, lighting firecrackers in the bathroom, stealing school supplies, threatening the school custodian, attempted theft of campus Tobanga statue. And then, yeah, Rachel in the dark room. David Madsen and Nathan Prescott have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has become a drug mule in Mr. Madsen's... T yeah. Acting as a front for another local dealer. Considering Rachel's exemplary status, I told David that I need more concrete proof, and he promised he had more to show. I was surprised to... Excuse me. I was surprised to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed that David Madsen was following her and taking photographs. David would deny this and give the questionary, questionable company Rachel has been keeping. I'm not certain I can believe her right now. So he's trying to blame... Yeah, so he's definitely trying to blame it on other people. So if he's doing the same thing to Kate, that means... He thinks that Kate could be trying to be doing the same thing, and it's possible Kate could technically try to be the one next one to disappear, I would assume. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that Swimming? Risk now? It's, it's kind of a, a weird craving. time. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. We have Yeah, sure. Heard. Splish Splash. Splish Splash. I was Did digging you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. I, she's been saying hella this whole time just in her head, and I've had, well, we've had to listen to it. And that's going to be the end of our episode. This game... Scares you at weird times, gets your heart racing, and makes you care about these characters. So I'm worried as to where it could take us, because if it kills off anyone and I can't save them, like, I just barely saved Kate. If I don't save someone, and I could have, I am going to hate myself for a long time. But anyways, I'll let you guys go. So, be sure to sub if you're new around here. Be sure to check out our other content. Hope you guys enjoyed. Three play out.